Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley Elizabeth and I am a makeup artist from the UK. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about the brand new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 Hour Foundation. I'm gonna be doing a review, a test, and then a wear test throughout the day. So I did see this foundation appear on like Superdrug and Boots a little while back, and I just thought it was like repackaged for the original Superstay. But then I went on the Maybelline website and they're actually listed separately. So I'm assuming it's a brand new foundation. Superstay, the original Maybelline Superstay is my favorite foundation ever. Like there's nothing that works on my skin better than that foundation. So I had to get this one and give it a try. So I wanted to see if it lived up to the original 24 hour Superstay. I couldn't find much information about these foundations on the internet. So basically they seem like the exact same thing, except for this one is 30 hour wear and the other one is 24 hour wear. I'm not too sure the difference. This one does say it's active wear. I mean, when you look on their website, there is it is listed that it says full coverage, transfer water and sweat resistant and suitable for all skin types. So I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Let's give it a go. So obviously this is the bottle. I decided to pick up the shade number 34, Soft Bronze. So I do use this shade in the other Superstay when I have got fig tan on. So I decided to go with this colour because I know that it works for me. I have prepped my skin the exact same way that I always do. So I've cleansed, toned and moisturised this morning and I've popped on some of my hyaluronic acids. That is the only preparation that I do to my skin. I don't really use primers at all. So I won't be putting any on today because I wanna really know how this foundation wears. I did intend to do like a comparison, do half my face with the old one and half my face with the other one, but I went to get my old bottle out and it's empty. So we're just gonna to have to do a full wear test of this one. So I've just got a couple pumps of that out on my palette and I'm gonna start working that into my skin. So my favourite brush to pop my foundation on with is the Peaches and Cream PC19. So they're just this really dense brush. I don't really like to use beauty blenders just because I don't really, I don't like the finish that it gives on my skin. So I'm just going to use this today. So straight off the bat, I feel like the coverage isn't as thick as the the original Superstay, but we'll see if it can build because I know with the original Superstay, the second you put it on, the coverage is there. And I do love a full coverage foundation. It does feel incredibly lightweight. The other one is super full coverage, so I'm thinking maybe this one is like still the same matte finish, but without the heavy coverage as the old one. So this is my skin after just one light layer. I've still got some of the foundation left on my palette, but straight away, the coverage is definitely lighter than the previous Superstay foundation. It is still drying quite matte, so I haven't really got any sheen to my skin or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a little bit more and just build up the coverage in those areas that I prefer it and just see how buildable this foundation is. And it doesn't seem to have oxidized, which is very good. Building really, really nicely too. So all like the freckles and discoloration that I had in this area has gone now. That's gen generally what I try and look for in a foundation. So I don't like my freckles. I know I'll get loads of comments about that. I always do on Instagram, but I prefer to have just a flat blunt canvas to start off with and I especially just don't like these ones on my cheek area because I feel like it just interferes with my bronzer and contour and things like that. It just makes it look muddy. So I try and cover them up as much as I possibly can. It does feel a lot more matte than the original Superstay. I feel like when I've used the original one in the past, I've still got a little bit of like sheen or shine to my skin, even with it on top. But this, it's just completely matte. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but sometimes, obviously with a matte foundation, you want it to be matte. 
So this is my skin after a second layer and I've just built up the coverage of that foundation. I am really, really liking how this looks. It feels super lightweight, like it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on your skin. I hate that word. It doesn't feel heavy on your skin at all. It just feels super lightweight. It does feel matte, but without feeling too dry. But maybe if you are more on the drier end of the scale, maybe this wouldn't work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and carry on with my regular face, ba face, face base with my regular face routine and just see how all the other products interact and build up on top of it. So I'm going to conceal today with my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer and this is the shade Marshmallow, which is just a few shades lighter than my face. I'm just going to get that on in all them regular spots. And then I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty sponge. Then I always like to grab my foundation brush again and just pat over just to make sure I blur them lines between where our concealer ends and our foundation begins. So I'm actually going to do some cream contouring today just to see how it works on top of that foundation. So I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Tantor and this is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to get that on my face. And I'm going to use the Molly O'Brien Arabella brush, just like an angled contour. And again, just get that on in all the usual spots. Then I'm just going to switch to a small brush just to get up the sides of my nose. Then again, I'm just going to grab that foundation brush and just pat all around everything just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And then just because I'm going to throw in a bit of cream blush as well. So I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Stick and this is in the shade Work. And then I'm just going to blend that out using a Peaches and Cream PC15. I love this milk makeup stick because it smells like crayons, like Crayolas. So the cream products are sitting on top very well. There's been no smudging, no lifting, no anything like that. But I am going to go ahead and powder everything now. So to powder my concealed areas, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I feel like I've used a lot of Huda Beauty today. So I've just used a small amount of that just to set down those areas that I put my concealer. And then for bronzer and for me to set down that cream contour, I'm going to use the NARS Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade Laguna. And I'm just using a Morphe M405. And then for our powder blush, I'm going to use the Jordana Tisha Cosmetics blush. And this is in the shade Fruit Punch. I am obsessed with these blush. And I'm just using a Molly O'Brien Daz brush. Then the only product I didn't use a cream version of, I'm going to go in with now. And that is highlighter. And I just don't really like cream highlighters. But I'm going to go in with my fave Inglot Sparkle Dust. And this is in the shade number two. So this is just like a loose powder highlight. And I'm going to get my BB08 from Buff and Blend. So that's pretty much it for like the face products and base products. So I'm going to give it a little spritz with the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I know I haven't got anything on my eyes yet, but I am going to be filming another video straight after this of just my eyes so i'm just gonna leave them blank for now so the time right now it is six minutes past 12. so i'm gonna try and keep this on as long as i possibly can obviously the uk is in lockdown at the moment so i don't really have many plans for the rest of the day so it might just involve me sitting on the couch and eating and drinking but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna check back in with you a few times throughout the day just let you know how this wears but i will give you a little close-up right now of how we are looking so 
So I will just say, as of right now, I am really liking this foundation because my skin looks fantastic. It's got the coverage that I usually like, but it doesn't feel too heavy, but my skin still looks like skin. It doesn't look like I've got tons and tons of makeup on. So what I will actually do is I am gonna run and show you this in natural lighting because obviously i've got my studio lights on it now studio lights work wonders so i will go and show you what it looks like in natural daylight so i'm just standing in front of my living room window but look at that foundation this base is looking really nice if i do say so myself so even in the natural light it is nice and full coverage i feel like my pores are quite blurred so my pores don't look really prominent so yeah it's still around 10 past 12 so what i will do is i will check in in a few hours and let you know how it's going like i mentioned i am filming another video with eye makeup so the next time you see me i might have some crazy things on my eyeballs but i will see you soon hi i'm back so the time is now 4 30 i have just created this makeup so I did actually nip out a bit earlier today and nip to the shops, do a bit of lockdown shopping. So obviously I had to put a mask on and I have not topped up my makeup at all. So it hasn't, like the mask hasn't taken it off. There was a little bit of makeup actually on the inside of my mask, but it hasn't transferred enough that it's taken it off my face. So I think we are doing quite well. So I've had this on for four hours now. So I do tend to get a little bit more oily around this kind of area. So if I oil up, it's that's just not the fault of the foundation. That is just my skin. I am loving how this is looking. I've also had a Subway, I've eaten and it's so I'm going to give it a couple more hours. And then I will check back in with you and I will give my final thoughts and opinions, but you can probably guess what they are. Hi guys. So the time is now around 8 p.m. So I've had this on for just under eight hours already. I am a little bit oily around and about, but like I said before, that is just my face. No matter what I put on, I will always produce oil in them areas. So that's I'm not gonna judge this foundation because of that. But, oh God, I've like smudged my eye makeup. Wow, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Let's ignore that bit. But yeah, I am absolutely loving how this has worn. Like I don't really, there's no like separating, there's no lifting, there's no smudging, everything's still where it's meant to be, so. It's just obviously I'm a bit oily. So if so this if you are gonna wear this foundation, if you're like out all day, if you're doing long shifts in work, you'll probably need a little bit of a touch up if you do get oily like I do. But apart from that, it should work quite well. So I will definitely be using this foundation some more. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos from myself. But thank you all so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.